Oh man. Alright guys. Um hold on. Let me check something really quick. No, not that one, son of a bitch. Oh, I should be good. Okay. I was seeing the space. I don't know if you just saw me open up my folder, but you know, as it reads, um the Tales of Instamayoi, past and future edition, created and read out loud by me, Bonds to Mayoi. Make sure your volume isn't muted. So if you're hearing this, obviously your volume isn't muted. So uh, yes, I will be reading it, and I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, uh, my mom just got done reading it. She said it was like an hour and a half, so this might have to be two-parter. So yeah, um, anyways, page one. Ah, uh, damn. So I gotta sound like a young me. Hello, my name is Paul. I'm a pretty basic guy. Not too special, not too boring, I guess. Average, but a little more than that, if this makes any sense. Well, hey, for as long as I can remember, I always like to go above the rest and standards without being too extra in things overall. If you were curious, I am pretty young, but a lot of people mistake me for an adult because of my way of thinking and voice, despite only being 12, but turning 13 soon, haha. <laughs> but I always loved adventuring, and just training me and my soul Pokemon that everyone in this world has. Basically, this is a natural power and creature that in this entire Earth has. Maybe everybody, oh, sorry, maybe even beyond just this planet. But I have had my Nidoran for the longest time. I suppose I am somewhat different than others, but in a normal, more dedicated way. A lot of other people in this war, <laughs> in this world, that I know love just battling each other for fun, even though their soul Pokemon feels pain too. Our Pokemon feel pain too. Just like all humans. Oh, feel pain too, just like all, sorry. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure to use my finger as like a thing to, because I'm reading the book itself, so. Just like all humans and animals do, just living beings in general. So here comes the part where I'm different than most. I don't believe those with a conscience should feel pain unnecessarily, without a reason, reasonable explanation. But besides being pretty harmless, or being pretty... <laughs> But besides being pretty hairless, somewhat a normal human being. Yeah, oh my god. I just said I was going to use my finger and I wasn't fucking doing it. I'm sorry, guys. Somewhat a normal human being, and besides having this soul Pokemon that everyone on this earth is born with, I want to finally leave this town. I have lived most of my life and go on a great, and go on my great adventure with my best friend Nidoran. He even agrees. I can't understand his language, but I know he's all for it. Like me, excited too for heading out into the true wild. So we headed out without much of a word to the other people living somewhat close to us all our lives. Just a simple, wait, why did I, just a simples. I put a simples, what the fuck? Oh, just a simple view. Wave. What? Wait, the fuck? Okay, so. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta grade this too. So, wait. It's, so, I, so, I put simples, like S I M P L E S. Just a simple view waving, waving along with some confidence. What? That shouldn't be simples, what the fuck? Okay, that's... Good thing this is just the original copy. Yeah, good thing I'm making this, oh my god. A little, a little, but, uh, there's an error, okay. So, just a simple few waving along with some confident jumps and flips from Little Nidoran, haha. <laughs> Our first big area we came across was this somewhat eerie forest. A ten minute walk passing let's, lots of Pokemon, including a very rare but sparkling beauty, a shiny Dugtrio. 
that we saw for an instant as it disappeared back underground for probably a long time until it decides to show up. How lucky! Okay, so first page, there was one error, that was it. It was a small error, but still an error nonetheless. That's why I'm doing this as well. Wow, this forest may be feared among most, but to us, it is just another obstacle to overcome. I haven't always been even decent at all with finding my way through things like may oh for, <laughs> sorry sometimes i make make like the the short versions of letters and then i'm like damn uh i'll make sure to like i said this is the original copy i'll make sure to do better just overall so anyways so yeah make my way through things like mazes or even small time caves i guess you can call it a uh humor type of curse i have <laughs> But Nidoran always had my back to keep us from getting lost for all eternity. I really am hopeless without him. So, wow, my first time being in a dark, foggy forest like this. Lots of eyes in the dark glaring at us with a glow. But then, oh, I, uh... Nidoran, you see that, right? What kind of Pokemon... Wait, is that a human? What's wrong with his face? Hold on. This can't be. That looks just like me. Bow, ow, that really hurt. I guess my DMT device. Oh shit, hold on, I'm sorry. I, oh my god, I need to read better, I'm sorry. What should I give his voice? Uh, because I don't want to reveal who it is. Bow, wow, that really hurt. I guess my DMT device worked. I'm glad you were okay, Starly. But what is this place? Is this Earth? All right, let's get up and try to find Dad. If my calculations were correct, there should be his universe. So we just have to travel this universe, starting with this planet. It's so foggy in this in this forest. Jeez, it's been almost a year since the fusion. So thankfully, I am okay to travel through such dimensional rifts. But nonetheless, it worked. I'm so glad we made it through here alive, Starly. Hold on. I smell a very similar smell to Dad. Wait, no. Is that... Oh, it's too foggy. Hey, Dad. Wait. I should be careful. Let him come to me. Stay close to me. Starly, on my shoulder. All right. Hey, um, I don't know who you are, but I have to ask. Why do you look so much like me, but a pug? That is so cute. Aw, oh, pugs are my favorite dog breed since forever. How are, you, how are you? How are you doing? Are you exploring this forest just like us? Oh, um, is your name Paul by any chance? Yeah, that's my name. But how did you know? Have we met sometime back then or something? Dad, it is you. You're so young. I missed you so much. <laughs> jumps at jumps at Paul and hugs him. Whoa, hey, it's okay, um, Puggy. You don't have to cry, but what do you mean, Dad? I'm only 12. Don't adults usually wait until they are older to have kids? I am really confused. <laughs> but I'll help you as best as I can, cute Pug. My name is Lou, by the way. I know it is hard to believe, but I'm actually using your body from another universe fused with my own magical powers, Paul. I... That is incredible. You are me from another universe? Wow, but... Oh no. Look out, Lou. Seems like we are gonna have to finish this when we can. Get ready. All right, Dad, yeah. Next page. Phew, that was pretty crazy, Lou. You and Starly are really powerful. From our duo, I thought we were one of the strongest around here. I know you said you were from another universe, but please explain. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't put... Oh, damn. That's another error. Hold on, I need to fix that. Maybe I can squeeze it in somehow. Uh, damn. <laughs> I didn't put it, but it is him talking. It's Lou talking, so... Well, Paul, actually, is it okay that I call you Dad, or is that too weird for you? I mean, you look older than me, so 
it is super weird, but I believe you. We did just go through life and death right there. Not only the massive executor and trevenant, but so many other different insects like bees and purple hornets. I'm glad we have strong abilities as a team. Well, ah, shit, again. So I must have forgot to do this. Put there, who's talking? So here, let's see. So it's not too bad, because it's a good thing I have some spaces in these early pages. Well, if it is just us, I'll call you dad. You can always tell me when it is too weird. I will, of course, respect that. So in my universe, the Paul I knew, he was one of them. One of the most brilliant minds, rivaling even Black Mesa. And another one. God damn it. Put that again. Sorry, guys. I feel like a teacher grading someone's fucking book. <laughs> My Paul was about in his 30s before some evil bastards that he respected and worked with as fellow scientists were jealous of his life's work, researching ways to cross through dimensions. So wait, Lou, you mean by the Paul you knew, is he dead? Mm, yes, sadly yes. As you can imagine, that's why I reacted the way I did when I smelled his scent from you. And after, uh, and after you confirmed my guess of your name, it made me so happy. It has been a year since his death, and since my transformation, that's something. Oh, that's something I was wondering. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's, it's him talking. Sorry. That's something I was wondering. Why someone in this, in this had a world relative with a similar body and part of face as me? Okay, then once again, I gotta put... God damn it. Okay, this one's gonna be a little tough. <laughs> you, can, you can barely tell. Oh my god. There we go. That's okay. All right. Yes, I only realized his death hours later when I woke up from my room. Since we lived together, since he was taking care of me, believe it or not, I'm only two years old. But I always was learning from my dad, as he was, as his, as he always worked, and I was there to bring him good memories. It was the least I could do. It got destroyed when I landed in the spot I traveled through. I fell from the trees and onto it when it was when I already ready was on the ground. The device was called DMT, short for Dimensional Matter Transporter. Something that took me a whole year to create. With the help of the unexpected friend of Paul's being Gordon Freeman. That is so amazing, Lou. Not only are you someone who is super smart, strong, and have my body as an older version of me in another universe, but I do feel like I knew you for a long time when we were fighting together. It is nice we are a team now. I agree. Oh, damn it. Gotta put another one. Damn it. This is Lou talking. Lou. Oh, man. It's gonna be so hard to tell what that means. I agree, Dad, but as much as I enjoy catching up and meeting this, you... Wait, what? And meeting this? What the fuck? Catching up and meeting this, you... Oh, okay, sorry. That was normal. I agree, Dad, but as much as I enjoy catching up and meeting this, you, we really should explore the, this forest some more. There is something I can sense and smell very faintly, but it is a vile nonetheless. But it is vile nonetheless. Good point, Lou. All right, let's go right in there. Um, rumbling? Page, next page. Oh, damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. This is so hard because it's at the beginning of the page. Son of a bitch. Here, we'll just put it right here. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright. Dad? Dad? Are you okay? We barely made it. That was a long drop. Nita Reno really came in clutch, shaping the hole into a safe slide down into whatever this place is. Huh, Lou? I'm glad we are still alive. Your Staravia helped us slow down the slope. 
Wait, did you two evolve for us? This is amazing. Not only are we okay, we found this place by accident and lived, but also our soul Pokemon evolved. This is incredible, Lou. Yeah. Wait. Wait, who's talking in here? Um, I'm assuming it's Lou. Shit. Mm. Oh, no, it is. Yeah. Yeah, both of us finally managed to do it. I'm as some... What? Oh, <laughs> I'm assuming you don't have your partner fight with you ever, yeah? Uh, okay. This is him. This one... To me, Starless shouldn't have to fight, but hey, to me, even as Nidoran, your cute bunny seemed to be really powerful already. I was... Oh, no, that's me. I was about to tell you, Starly is leagues among my Nidoran, because it can fly, which is so awesome. I still love you, though, Nidoran, Nidorino. Don't worry. Okay, now this is him. Sometimes it's a little hard to realize who, who is talking in the story for me when i'm reading it sorry that's why i'm glad i'm i'm re-putting things um oh shit that means it's not correct on the patreon either fuck i need to do that afterwards too <laughs> god damn it <laughs> all right paul as much as this is great once again we shouldn't stay here for too long who knows what is lurking in this underground area lou you led oh Lou, you led the way since you said... Oh, no, you lead the way. Oops. Lou, you lead the way since you said you can sense and smell things that most can't, because this place is like a maze. But what are these crystals? They're giving off some kind of light. Oh. Then this is him. Wait, Paul. These are high-density magic crystals, so your Earth is based on magic, too? Well, Lou, I mean, everyone on both of our Earths, uh, all living things with a conscience have these creatures called soul Pokemon. So, I mean, it makes sense. There are objects in this world that give off magical or mystical energies. Um, wait. Uh, okay. How long have we been walking, Lou? Hours? I'm so tired. Look at Staravia and Nidorino. Are looking exhausted, too. Uh, okay. And that's him. Don't worry, you guys. I see a safe little cubbyhole. We can stay together. Uh, a rest. Oh, is that... It's supposed to be A, or can stay together A rest for... I think it's supposed to be and. And rest for a while. We can do this. Just some sleep is all we need. Um... Oh, no, that's... Okay. That's Lou again. All right. Yeah. Morning, everyone. You guys all good to keep exploring this place? I am at least a lead again. Lou, yeah, I'm good, too. I'm good, too. Both our Pokemon seem to as well. Wait, um, what are those eyes in the dark? Oh, gotta put Lou again. Okay. Paul, these things are dangerous. I can sense a very subtle killing intent. If you value your lives, keep your distance from us. If not, I'll send you to hell in an instant. Cave dweller. Uh, what should I put the cave dweller as? Just try it, you damn muddy. Or you damn mutt. You won't even be able to put a bruise. Sorry. Oh, here we go. That's where I gotta put Lou. Lou. Staravia, do it. Ariel, a storm. God. Bodies dropped to the ground. Just, oh, just who were those guys anyway? Is it regular down here? Thanks for saving us, Lou. Um, yeah, no, and that's Lou. Okay. Okay. 
No problem. You two, Staravia, are no problem, you two. Staravia really did well. But wait, those creatures. Okay, next page. Oh, here we go. All right. Now, Lou, you stay here. Dad's going to be back gathering some vials for our project. You be a good pup, okay? Erf, erf. Bark. Oh, I want to go with you too, Dad. Wait, Dad, Dad. Let's see. Hey, Mr. Fudo. Do you have a few minutes? I'm looking for some research materials to further aid my project. First, I need the bio. Woof, bark, quah. Take that carrot. Take that and that carrot. I wish you would just ask him to join his crew outright, but I guess this is punishment for not... Crunch bite. Lou, I'm home. What are you doing to that poor bunny again? <laughs> she really must have done something to get bit so much, huh? Well, either way, look, our friend Professor Fudo helped supply a bunch of very helpful things for our project. But of course, since old Carrot is looking pretty worn out, I figured out. I figured you would want something else. Here, this is this one is from an anime that uses crystal balls to grant any wish one wants if they gather all seven. I present you Shenron. Here you go, buddy. Hopefully he can have a better challenge for you. Wolf, yeah, cute, cute. Oh yeah, Dad is so nice. A super awesome green reindeer lizard. All right, you are the new boss. You have to face my crew. I got Carrot, Grimjow, Tokoyami, and Peko. I dare you to take on our powerful group. But first, come to the land of Wano at any cost, Shenron. Our final battle will be there. <laughs> it looks like he is really enjoying all the toys. You're already five months old, little man. Next month will be a, a whole half year. We have been together, don't worry. I got a really nice surprise for you, Lou. Alright, back to work. Good thing he's just a puppy and falls asleep a lot. Lou, you mean more to me than the whole world. I'll give you the life I wish I had growing up, kiddo. I promise you, son. Man, oh man. What a breakthrough. I can't believe I finally found out. I did it. The first official gate to way to travel between dimensions. I need to work on stabilizing the travel and frequencies for the speed of light and sound to not disintegrate any cells for safe hyperdrive for every being. Mm. Wow, it's already this late. Well, I'm gonna, I'm going to head to sleep now. See you in the morning, Lou. Sportal radio music ringtone. Huh? Hello? Oh, Mr. Fudo. Yes, I'll be right over to help you out, my friend. See you in five minutes at most. <sighs> What's going on? This? What's going on this late? In the night, only two hours I slept. Hopefully he's okay. Either way, here we are. Knock, knock. Well, I should have a knocking sound effect. Hold on. I can knock on the book. Um, Where was I at? Oh, here we go. Hey, you say you're there, right? I'm coming in. All right. Uh, congratulations on making the first ever warp gate, Professor Paul. You really are ahead of your time at so young, too. You remind me somewhat of my father in a good way, of course. Next page. Uh, you say, what's the meaning? <laughs> Why? It's simple. We want to take all the credit for this creation of yours. So naturally, you would be in the way. Hence why my wife, Akiza, ran, you th ran through your heart with a combat rose blade. <laughs> okay. May you sleep forever with nature locked away in this room. Rose Thorn, 80 Pierce! Well, Professor Paul, thanks for giving us your life's work. This room, as my love said, will be your eternal grave. Be accompanied by this foolish old life of mine. Good riddance, child. Griff, griff, griff. Huh? Where did Dad go? He always sees me off before he leaves to gather materials. 
and head to Mr. Fudo's office. Oh, trip three knocks. Ready for this? Three knocks. Oh, wait, where did I? Where the fuck? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Hey, I'm letting myself in. Ah, oh, Lou, there you are. Come here, buddy. Bark. Morph. Huh? Are one of Dad's students? I know. I know, girl. Wait. What? I know, girl. She really. <laughs> okay, so I, I did it on purpose, I'm pretty sure. I know, girl. She really likes Dad, too. But too bad she just missed him. Listen, Lou. I know you're really young and you should never have to hear this, but Professor Paul is <laughs> dead. Bark, bark. Dad, no, no. Who did such a thing? <sighs> Wait, boy. I know this is terrible, but we can't get in that room. We only know because a camera was recorded in every office for research purposes. We tried everything. Apparently, they made it out of adamantite. The strongest material in the world. There's no way that anyone can. Bark, bark, bark! Grrr! That will stop me. Maybe it isn't too late. I'll save your dad. Runs to over as fast as he can to the office door. Hick! Wait, no! Please, I smell him in there, and it smells like a rotting animal. Oh no! It looks. Wait, what? It's too late. No, I don't care. Let me in now. <sighs> Bites at the door. <sniffs> Crash. I did it. I got in. Hold on, Dad. I'll see. No, it's too late. Why? Why? What did he ever do wrong? <sighs> please don't leave me alone, all alone, Dad. I need you, please. With two close bonds that not even death can separate, become one! Whoosh. Wait, Lou, you can't get in. I told you it's impossible. What the hell? The door and entrance look like they got hit with a meteor. How did this? And what's that voice? The only one in there should be Professor Paul? Wait, aren't you? Hold on, Lou, what's going on here? You have Paul's body, but a part of your face is... Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. He lives with me as one now. I am Lou, and I will take revenge for what they did to Paul. You... You monster! An abomination! Someone help! This demon took Professor Paul's body, and it's going to kill me! Wait, come back, please. I just need to clean up fast and cover myself. This cloak will do. Don't worry. I'll get you what you deserve, bastard! Next page. This is a facility owner talking. Oh, through a loud, talk through a loudspeaker. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, I don't know how you hear this. All hands, prepare and take caution of a demon possessing the recently deceased Professor Paul. We have re requested backup to deal with said supernatural being. Okay. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. I hope you did. <laughs> so I'll re I'll reread it in normal voice just in case. But like I said, this is him talking through a loudspeaker. All hands prepare and take caution of a demon possessing the recently deceased Professor Paul. We have requested backup to deal with said na supernatural being. So I don't know if, if y'all heard that first part when I was trying to act like it was through a speaker. If you didn't, then that's what that second probably was. All right, this facility owner again. All right, guys, listen up. Oh, wait. What should I give him a voice as? Um, I give him this voice. All right, guys, listen up. Now, listen, we may be normal forces on our own, but the Marines will be here soon to aid us in driving out this monster. It won't get away for using one of the greatest minds in the world. Shower door opens. Uh, I don't know. It's, I don't. I don't usually just have a shower door like the sliding thing. So I was like, Shush. ah, it's so nice showering on my own. I miss baths, but hey, I don't have time now that I'm all clean. I don't have time now that I'm here. Let me put a comma there. There we go. <laughs> now that I'm all clean, 
I need to properly get ready and dress in an appropriate outfit to wear normally. Wait, if I remember, Dad had tons of the things he would usually wear. I'll make my own style. Wow, I look really good. An official scientist, I'm sure once the others see me, they will understand. I mean, no harm. Okay, let's go see everyone. Hey, hello, anyone still here? Hmm, I wonder where everyone went. No one is inside their office? Or no one is in their office? I don't get where you all went, but all right, I'll go see if that boss person is here. Dad always seemed to be really cool with him. Hello, Mr. Boss Man. Are you here? Wait, what's this computer have, Sean Connor? What's that symbol on the monitor? That can't be real, right? That kind of looks like the poster I see around the lab's radio. Wait, radioactive? According to this monitor, the area is getting bombed by a nuke. Wait, isn't that really bad? I hear all a lot of terrible things about when Dad would sometimes bring it up. Why? We live here, because most of this world is pretty dangerous. <laughs> I miss Dad so much. This ceiling looks very strange. Why is there something that looks like a tube up there? Hmm. Jumps up and punches the ceiling part. Punch! Vroom. What? The a doorway? Well, I guess I should go forward into this new thing. Maybe I could find where the others are. Wow, is... Well, I smell a lot of different people not too far down. This passageway, hmm, pretty normal to me. Don't seem to have an evil smell to them. Ah, the light, almost there. Hello, hello, what are you guys doing in this weird area? Facility workers. Is that him? The nice person? Um... Well, I suppose, dog person. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Is that him, the imposter? Hey, everyone, what you doing? Why do you all look so scared? I'm a nice person. I'm, um, well, I suppose, dog person. I'm struggling. I'm so, no, I'm still getting used to this weird form fusion with my dad. Silly workers whispering, whispering among each other. Wait, that is the demon, right? monster that the lady said was coming to to kill her he doesn't seem so bad at all hey hey excuse me fake paul so you said you're oh i know what, what should i give him is this is this a facility work on its own hey excuse me fake paul you said that you're so you said your dad but as far as we know professor paul had no children or any family so who are you Oh, I guess I should have said that first. Well, my name is Lou. I am five months old, and I'm getting... Oh, and I am a pug, but with special powers that might explain why I was able to be in this form. Fused with Dad. He always called me his son, and we lived with each other. He would always take care of me and treat me like an equal. Do you know where Mr... I mean, where that scientist you say is? As far as I know, looking through... The footage in the facility owner's... Wait, what? Oh, the footage in the facility owner's... What? Hold on. I guess it's just his way of talking because he's young. I think that's what the excuse was. The footage in the facility owner's... He had clear footage of Yusei and his wife, Akiza, murdering Professor Paul. No matter what... I will, I'll avenge him. And then the facility, facility owner, Lou. Next page. You say, you better watch your back, because I'll find you in a keys to end both of you. All right, I'm almost out. I can smell some putrid air. Yuck. Where am I going? To be at the top of this exit hatch. What is this place? It looks like a big trash lid. Ew, wait. These are garbage bags all around here. This really is a big garbage area. Wow, what a place to have. What a place to hide one of the greatest bases in the world. I hope the others I left behind will be okay in return. Oh, will be okay. I'll return here eventually once I complete my mission. Probably. Almost four weeks later. Man. 
I never get tired of this amazing scenery. Such beautiful mountains and forests smell so nice compared to where I started from back then. Wow, tomorrow will be a new month. I guess I never did get that surprise for a half year. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sure I'll find tons of portal radio tone. There's a ringtone. Ah, what is that, huh? Huh? I've had this on me the whole time. What the? Isn't this Tad's phone? Beep. Ah, uh, what should I give him? His voice. <laughs> I don't think he ever spoke. Now that I think about it, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna give him a voice. Hmm. Dad. Paul. Doesn't have any chill. Wait, Lou. What? How do you know my name? Who are you, anyways? Young pup. It is me, a good friend of your dad. It's me, Uncle Gordon. How are you, kiddo? I heard what happened to Paul. I was and still am devastated about his murder. Those damn duelists got him. Uncle Gordon, hello. So did you go talk with other, other, other scientists, too? Of how you can hear me and how I was able to pick up the phone? Yes, by some miracle. You fused with Paul and... Went out in search for his murderers, right? I'm calling because tomorrow we were supposed to have a play date for you. For your half year... Oh, what the fuck? I spelled that wrong? Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I made so many fucking errors. Play date. Uh, play date for your half your birthday. Oh yeah, so that's what Dad meant by surprise. It has been a while. I can bring Starly. Oh no, been it's been a while. Can I bring Starly too? He has been with me ever since I started. Uh, what? Oh, traveling. He just appeared out of nowhere like thin air. But we are good friends now. He always tells me the great things he sees while flying up and around. Sure, I'm always sure. I'm glad to have to hear you got a soul Pokemon too, Lou. I'm sure he will get along very well with my Tynamo. I'll come pick you up in the usual way. What's the area look like to you where you are? It looks like big mountains. Oh man, that's faded out. What the fuck? You can barely read that. Shit. Alright. It looks like big mountains with forests and it smells like syrup. Yeah, you know. That place, uncle? Oh, you must mean Canada. Is there a lot of white there too? And is it cold? Yeah, so I guess I'm in Canada. Then, because you're right. I was wondering what all this weird Solash stuff was. I like snow. My fur was helping me against the cold. So that's why I didn't notice at first. Haha. <laughs> Alright, stay here. Stay there, pup. I'm coming to pick you up now. I'll be there in about five minutes. Try to have Starly create little wind burst with a wing attack barrage. If you can, I'll be able to know your exact location earlier. Uh earlier with the oh sorry i'll be able to know your exact location earlier with that see you then see, well, see you soon sorry <laughs> okay i will uncle beep starly you think you could do a wing attack barrage if you can't it's okay starly whoosh Whoa, that is incredible, Starly. You're strong. You're strong. Your barrage became a leaf tornado from all the leaf. What? From all the. Wait, does that say leaf? From all the leaf. I don't. Wait. I don't. What the fuck? I don't want strong winds. Star, star! 
You want me to hold on to your feet? Well, okay. If you want, get... What? Whoa! We are flying! Sir... Surfing the leaf tornado. Monstrous engine sound. Oh, that was the sound effect. <sighs> Loud speaker. Alright, so I might have to read this twice, but I'll just do the effect once. Go on, kiddo. Let's go to our new home. And then this is the normal one. Go on, kiddo. Let's go to our new home. And then Lou says, Okie dokie. Okay, next page. So, this voice. Good morning, everyone! Animal noises. Uh, squawk, grrr, choo choo. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. A lot of animal noises, just, yeah. I hope you all had a great night. As usual, I'm gonna go collect more materials for my home. Feel free to come visit if you need anything. Lots of tasty mushrooms and fruits, as usual. I love this place. Oh, hey, birds. How are you doing on this fine morning? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Seems like you all are having fun, too. I'm just collecting some food for later. You guys are welcome to join later. You'll be able to taste. You'll be able to smell it easily from afar. Oh, these are such incredible stones. And one, and wood, very sturdy and healthy looking. You are going to help me a lot with my house. Phew, this should be good enough for today. All right, time to cook special... Oh, cook my specialty stew. Uh... Sweet mushroom special. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I miss these, like, little letters that I put. Puts hand on mouth to make a cup. Anyone who wants to join my party, come on over. The smoke... Come on over, follow the smoke. Animals making noises. Squawk, squawk, bird stuff. Uh... <laughs> I don't know, because <laughs> it's obviously not going to be cats and stuff over there, you'll see why. I'm glad you- oh. I'm glad you all could come here. The stew will be ready there is enough for everyone. I hope you all like my cooking. If anyone feels cold, come by the fire, it is warm. Just don't touch- just don't touch it. Get close to it, but be careful. If you all who like the inside, this is the house. Oh. If you all who like the inside, this is the house I made. It can hold up to 30 others comfort comfortable. What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it can hold up to 30 others comfortable at all, so feel free to. Alright, the stew seems to be done there. Is the smell, so I can tell it's really... What? Uh? Oh, I thought it said red. Really, it said ready. Oh my god. So I can tell it's ready. I'll give it a taste test, just in case. Mmm, so good as usual. Whoever wants some, line up. I'll fix you a bowl. Cheerful animal noises. Quack, squack, bird, bird, me. <laughs> I'm happy. Our... Oh, wait. I'm happy you all are enjoying the party, but... <sighs> it's getting pretty late. I will have a party every day for whoever wants to come over. Thanks again for your company tonight. This man, he always seems... Oh, that's pretty faded out looking. Hold up. Okay. This man, he always seems to be an honest human. I'm very curious. Even the animals talk about him with such high regards. I'll continue to watch over him. I'm sure he will change like all the rest, though. Three weeks later. Alright, another grand day. Time to go and... <coughs> hmm? I'm getting sick. Well, either way, I'll go collect food and materials like usual. Wait a second. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was the other one. Wait a second. He what the fuck? Wait a second. He's sick. Well, either way, I'll go. What the fuck? 
Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh my god. I fucking... I'm sorry, guys. I'm reading the thing, and then I just realized I wasn't reading on the right thing. Wait a second, he has... Well, he must be very strong to just deal with it like that, but I'm sure he is smart to go and rest up. No one is that stupid, right? Alright, anyone... <laughs> anyone who wants to join the party, it's ready to be enjoyed. Okay, well, the soup is ready. Sorry, I'm pretty... Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm pretty slow today. But Lun collapses. I'm sorry. My body won't move for some reason. Forget about me. I'm sure I'll be fine after I sleep. Good night. That fool. Why does he not bother to care about himself? Only living for others. He will die in no time, I'm sure, when he is about to. He will finally realize. Stretches. <clears throat> Oh, man. I can't believe I couldn't even pass out the suit. <sighs> Cost up blood. What? Why is this happening? Well, I guess I'll just ignore it. I'm sure it will go away eventually. I'm a strong man. I can take it. This man. I can feel all the pain he is going through. How is he not going crazy? What's wrong with this foolish man, human? Man, things are all blurry. Why is my body so heavy? Passes out. What? Hey, wake up. You're gonna fall on that. Catches Paul and returns him home. Come on, what were you thinking? Why don't you care about yourself at all? If your condition goes on like this, you'll die a pointless death. Maybe looking inside his brain will help me realize what is he really thinking. Wait, you really are. You know that you are dying. But you don't care? And think this is normal anyways? So you don't let it hold you back? Why would you live like this? Every other human I've ever watched for 1,000 years were the same. Don't worry, love. I'll look after you and save you, Paul. I swear. Next page. Damn, it's almost been an hour. Holy shit. This goes by fast. I'm going to end this part just in case I forget, and then I'll be back for the next part. <laughs>